This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. This is a fantastic website if you want to start your online uh, collection or if you're just looking for a specific code. Look at all these code cards that they offer. Definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. If you're a European player, you're obligated to check out this website. You can sell your own cards or purchase from people all across Europe so this is a fantastic platform I use it personally every day and let's uh, for example check out this boss's orders you can see in time when the price is right and get notified when it has, has a specific amount of money so uh, at this point three euro and 28 cents for a boss's orders what a bargain sale right here so definitely check out both of my sponsors you'll definitely uh, help me out with that a lot What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to a special video on my channel. Uh, we are actually going to be exploring my room. So for the people that are interested to see what my room looks like, how I edit videos, uh, all the good stuff, you're gonna see that in this video. So if you're hyped for this video, be sure to mouse the like button. Let, without further ado, let's get it going. So uh, initially, like this is like the way I will watch TV. So we have my bed over there. And then it's very easy watching TV. We have a couple of consoles hooked up to the uh, television as well. As you can see here, what do we have? Two Nintendo 64s because it's my favorite console ever. We have the Super Nintendo. We even have a, a NES uh, right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. And there's a Yoshi egg on top of that. We have like some disco lights and all that. The good news is that everything is connected to this television, uh, everything at once. So uh, let's, for imagine, let's say we turn on the Nintendo 64, then the television will automatically uh, Play, of course the Nintendo 64 right here which is awesome so let's say oh yeah I'm, I'm done playing Nintendo 64 let's play uh, the other console uh, next to that is like the Super Nintendo you just put it on everything is connected here uh, and it's all thanks to SCART uh, this is the European te television so it does have SCART available that means you can just get multiple uh, it's a SCART divider and uh, with RGB to SCART you can actually hook up all of your old-school retro gaming systems what else? Uh, there's a, a Sega Genesis, a Nintendo Wii. I don't know if everything can be put on the screen. Maybe I just have to put it like this. Uh, what else do we see here? Is a Nintendo Wii U, uh, two Wiis, uh, a black edition and a white edition. There's a GameCube, and the thing, uh, the cool thing about the GameCube is that you can play your Game Boy games on the on the big screen thanks to the WaveBird controller. This, of course, allows us to uh, play wirelessly with the GameCube. I think it was one of the first con consoles that uh, provided that. And we also uh, have the Game Boy Player, so we can play uh, Game Boy Advance games on the GameCube instantly, which is totally busted. We're gonna talk about some cards very soon. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Nintendo Switch is the Pikachu edition, of course. Uh, next to that, I think that is two PlayStation 2s. We have the slim model and the regular one. Uh, next to that, there's a slim model of the PlayStation 1. Let's move to this side and see what else uh, I have hooked up here. Uh, maybe I could put it like this. Uh, yeah, what else do we see? There is uh, another PlayStation 1, it's a fat one. Uh, under that, there's a PlayStation 3. There's an Xbox One and uh, also a 360 and uh, the uh, original Xbox as well. So the only thing that's missing from the, all that is a PlayStation 4, which I don't have anymore. I sold that. I don't know if you guys are fans of the PlayStation or not. Uh, then we have the uh, insane, insane uh, Pokemon collection, video game collection right here. I, don't, I think I'm gonna just swap the camera for a little bit. So yeah, as you can see, this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is uh, Gen 1 with, of course, uh, red, blue, yellow, the Pokemon trading card game and Pokemon Pinball right here. They're all boxed. I do enjoy playing uh, or actually collecting these boxed games. There's also like a cool looking glass Pokeball right there, which actually lights up. What else do we have here is uh, Gen 2 and some accessories. There's the uh, Pokeball Plus and uh, also uh, the uh, bracelet for Pokemon Go. We have uh, Gen 2, Gold, Silver, Crystal, as well as the Puzzle Challenge. Here is uh, the awesome stuff here. Game Boy Advance, probably my favorite, favorite period in time of playing the Pokemon video games. There's Emeralds, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green. What is over, over there? It is Pokemon Pinball Advance. And then on the other side, we have, ta 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 ta, it's Mystery Dungeon Red Team. Now we move over to the Nintendo DS. Uh, look at all these DS titles. I'm not gonna sum everyone, but you should know is that Diamond, Pearl, Platinum was here, as well as my favorite games of all time, and that's going to be Hurt Gold, Soul Silver, 
Uh, those were fantastic. And uh, what else? Then we're going down here. We are going to see uh, some 3DS titles. Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, the Sun and Moon uh, games. And then right on top is Sword and Shield. So uh, try to get everything boxed. Don't have everything just yet. Also, my uh, little closet is getting too small for all these Pokemon titles. Moving forward. This is uh, the wall uh, of me and my girlfriend uh, traveling and all that good stuff. We're trying to actually travel the entire world. Uh, we have not done uh, too big of a process as you can see here. We didn't scratch too much, but we're hoping to change that in the near future by doing some sort of a world trip. What else do we see here? Some uh, boxes from the Xbox One 360. There is my... Yo, this is necklaces from Malmo as content creator as well as uh, the competitor's badge for the world championships <laughs> very very nice to see all that back again here are my like bubble heads or whatever you pro yeah yeah they bubble you know look at that that's uh, slim shady and uh, m, m a very uh, big fan of that so uh, some gamecube titles in here as well look at all these game Boy advanced games and then my favorite game of all time banjo tui uh, or actually banjo kazooie series and title except for nuts and bolts <laughs> some playstation one titles uh, oh, what is that? <laughs> Super Smash Bros. 3D is also lying there. Some Funko Pops uh, behind some uh, own made uh, covers for the N Nintendo 64. Huge fan of that console. What do we see here? It's a Blink 182 uh, little figurine a guitar. There is my uh, championship trophies. I actually stand them behind here so they actually don't fall. They're uh, made from glass. I think it's the one from Nationals 2012 as well as the runner up in uh, Paris 2020. Yeah, interesting. Okay, what else? There's a, uh, yeah, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2, Pac-Man. There's a perfect cell being looking at Gohan like, ooh. There's a cool looking Zapdos that is in a, a glass Pokeball. Uh, what else? Some 360 games, PlayStation 3. I have so much stuff already that it's insane. What is in this closet, you might ask? Tons and tons of Pokemon cards. Yeah, you know me. I actually uh, buy uh, throughout the years. It's insane what you collect, right? Like, look at all these Elite Trainer boxes. There is uh, yeah, the Snorlax one filled with energies. There is some bulk that I still need to sell on cart market. There is some Nintendo DS games. Nintendo 64 games in here as well. Sleeves. Uh, what else is here? here? The Trainer Toolkit. Definitely recommend that. Uh, some French cards that I uh, don't actually need. <laughs> and uh, some uh, crazy stuff in here. Another controller. Look at all that, what you get throughout the years. Crazy. Some Game Boy games. And then uh, under there is a couple of movies. So, wow, that closet is filled with stuff. So, yeah, as you can see, this closet has almost everything. On top of that, we also have some uh, booster boxes that are empty, I think, from the entire uh, Sun and Moon block because that's when I restarted. So, look at that. Look at all that magic. Okay, now we're actually gonna check out some cards. They're actually uh, laying right over there on the on my bed just to make it easier for you guys. So uh, let's get it going. So yeah, over here we have my little small binder which actually contains like the best of the best. Like we have some uh, post-rotation good stuff. Eldigos, Boss's Orders, Marnies, Zacian, Zdenis, you know all the good stuff. Uh, even some Jirachis and uh, Golden Trainer cards. So this is uh, my perfect binder. Then we have our Trainer Binder, which I actually showcased in a video on which Trainer cards rotate. So they are actually ordered by use. All item cards, and we we'll move over to Supporter cards. Uh, it's very nice and well organized to make decks with. This is actually the most expensive thing in my entire room because it uh, contains all gold energy cards. I think I have... Almost 12 of everything right now. I don't think I need to showcase everything, but it's insane the amount of golden energies in here. Look at that. So that's actually my personal collection. I don't collect like old school cards. I collect golden energies. I know I'm weird though, right? <laughs> this is uh, another binder which contains playable, like maybe-ish playable cards that I might make some rogue decks with. Also contains stack cards and all that good stuff. Also been cleaned out. So these are the cards. I actually have to put those back in the box later so what else you can see in the room we already uh, discovered uh, my television setup as well as the consoles right here this is a, a cool home speaker which actually uh, is very loud uh, if I'm uh, putting it at max volume this is my world championships 2019 bag as you can see 2019 and it actually contains uh, my travel stuff so that means uh, some of these binders over there go into that uh, um, bag so I can travel. All my decks are in there as well. So like, yeah, definitely baby blouse, hooray. <laughs> so moving forward, 
yeah, there's not a lot to explore just yet. Uh, actually, in the late uh, phases of this room tour, uh, we have my closet filled with clothes. Not you know, that you want to see that. But then the most important thing is, of course, my gaming setup, which I'm uh, actually going to showcase. We have my green screen and my chair right there. And I'm actually going to give you uh, a little bit of a close up. Yeah, so as you can see, this is uh, how I record videos. This is, of course, my uh, fantastic looking Dragon Ball chair, gaming chair right here. We have our sn blue snowball microphone being hooked up uh, to everything. So as you can see, I'm already ready to record the next TCGO uh, video. What streaming software do I use at Streamlabs OBS? As you can see, there's a, a lot of things you can edit right there. Uh, and as of course, uh, getting rid of the green screen on the screen right here. So, hey, and here we go. Uh, we also have a C920 uh, Logitech uh, webcam. I think it's uh, doing the job perfectly. We have our all ghetto key lights, of course, because without lighting, uh, your green screen is actually terrible. And then uh, I also sometimes use Sony Vegas Pro 14 to actually edit the, the lyrics of my rap intros that I do in certain videos. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, I think it's a 20, 20, 25 or 22 inch screen, which is uh, doing the job just fine. So yeah. So yeah, there you have it. This is uh, my room. Uh, of course, I edit videos here, play some games and uh, collect uh, the Pokemon video games box as well as the Golden Energy. So now you know some uh, more information about me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content. We're at 25,000 subscribers, which I still find Unbelievable, you guys are what made the channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video very shortly. Peace out.